And it's good to be back after a little bit of a hiatus, having, you know, gotten into Jedi Fallen Order, which is also a spacefaring game, so we stayed in the spirit of things. So I don't get to do that in Jedi Order. It's all... Did, was that glass actually breaking? That is the sound of glass breaking. I, this is a terrible thing to be doing. Anyway, this is good guy Steve, Steven with a V. We have to go rescue Phineas. He's been attacked! Now arriving at... Phineas's top secret orbital lab. And through no fault of my own is he being attacked because, you know, I kept his secret. Bad Steven with a PH didn't really keep his secret. He uh, uploaded a thingy to a computer that allowed the board to track him. Phineas. Track Phineas. Alright, we got our doctor and we got our robot. We're good to go. Now, Phineas likes to chill behind some uh, bulletproof glass. Unlike the stuff on my ship, which apparently you know, isn't bulletproof, as we just learned. So he, there's a good chance he's okay. The last message he gave to me was that the board are a bunch of pigs. Like, really emphasizing the pigs part, so maybe he turned them into pigs. He does have one in his office. His name is still on the screen, so nope, that's a bad guy. There's a pig. Oh shit, for a second it looked like Bubbles' his name was, you know, Trooper. Okay, let's get to murdering. <laughs> Oh, you just, you're just all about the murder, aren't you? Now you're dead. You got into the path of the bullets. That was your own fault. I have enough bullets for all of you! Try her bigger weapon, she said, as she ran in with a knife. Did I give you that knife? What? That is not the... Is that the knife I gave? That doesn't look like anything... Yeah, it's got way more of a wider blade at the tip than what I actually thought. Oh well. Machete. More of a machete. Oh, a note. Hello. Oh, so they did get him. So I need to keep that piece of paper? How do we get in there? Ah, yeah, they, uh, they totally got him. I can see signs of a struggle here. You're right there, Bubbles. Hello, hello. Ah, damn it. What's my hack at? 40. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, maybe the Vicar were with me. Let's get the Vicar with me, then we can see what the last World and Testament will be. Uh, be right back. Alright, we have Vicar Max on our team now. He brought my hacking skill up to 85, so a bit of an overkill, but let's go. If this is Steven, I prepared an emergency care package located in a hidden panel. Unlock the panel from my terminal and claim its contents immediately. Perniciously kidnapped and probably incarcerated. Ooh, we're going to Tartarus! Damn, dude. Free stuff? Where's my free stuff? Panel, panel. Well, I guess I didn't have to hack that after all. There was a passcode there. This thing. Subject may be unstable. But that's why I was behind this glass the whole time? Wasn't that? Oh, secret panel. My bad. So I guess we had to end up doing that all the time, all the, like, the whole time. Let's see what I've inherited from his last will and testament. Tartar snap key. Okay. So he's been there before. Actually, no, that just means he can, he can get there. He has the Finn's Force? What the hell is Finn's Force? 
Uh, it's pretty good is what it is. What do we got right now? 629. Ooh, just made it. And it, oh wait, uh, nope. Yep, there we go. Just gotta, there we go. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Here we go, get that rid of that. The Fin Force. What are these shears at too? 415. 40, fuck those. Get rid of that shit. I'm already at 258 to 270. I can only carry 12 more pounds. Confront Sophia. Oh, I've already done that. As, as Steven with a PH. Alright, the Fin Force. Not bad. Not a huge fan of Burst Fire, but it does that, uh, N ray damage. Adjutant Sophia Akande, I believe is her name. Ooh. Booze. Mr. Wells, sorry, P Professor Wells knew how to party. So this means, last time I met Sophia, she was back on um, Byzantium. Well, the first time I met her actually was on Byzantium. She was in her own office, but I'm thinking we gotta go to Tartarus this time. Tartarus is a, I don't want to say limbo version, it's its something of a hell. I, I believe it's where demons go when they're uh, banished. This is in Greek lore though. Greek and Roman, Greco-Roman, Greco-Roman. Actually, I've leveled up, so we'll uh, level up and get on, get on over to Tartarus. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet. Yes. I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Oh, it's just a point of no return thing. Oh, we're all here. Good. Well, folks, I ain't exactly keen on busting into a prison, but riddling bored stooges with bullets does sound like a ride right. in a hat. Says one vote in favor of invading Mr. the prison. This is just about the only person with power trying to do any kind of good in Halcyon. We gotta bust him out. That's two for the prison break. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. One against. Let me put it this way. The Labyrinth ain't got walls to keep prisoners in. It's got walls to keep the rest of the planet out. But since no one ever makes it out, this is all just speculation. Hashtag first. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Oh! Trust me. So we have an old hand at this. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. Yeah, we do, brother! You, really <sighs> you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Hot damn. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. Noted. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. You're gonna make me cry! I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. All right, everybody. Galaxy's best hope on three. One, two, three. If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. They're limited edition Prada. Outstanding. Ass kicking boots. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Exactly two of you will have my back. Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command, 
Not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. I suppose you're all wondering why I've got to do here today. We're gonna break into a prison! Looks like Max is breaking out the air guitar for a second there. I've got my end ray gun, let's do this. I haven't been a Typhon yet. Because I can't. Because I can't. Or Eridanos. So this is the point of no return. I'm fine with that. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Okay, so I only failed one, que one quest and by coming here. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me. In the event that you do not return. I was going to say, after she said like all that death stuff, I was going to say, Thank you, Ada, and now to the weather. But then she told me it was going to be chilly. I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another Captain unless you do not return within 876 million. 541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority. Was that a decade? Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. I've got your policy right You're here, bud. confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized. At which point... Your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Where to jail? Why not just put me in jail? I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, that'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. I plan on getting in and out of prison with all the holes I went in with the same size. Protocol is important, sir. Oh, now we're using sir. The sentencing of one crime does not preclude the sentencing of another, technically speaking. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're gonna have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. What? Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Kill you later. Mission terminated. How can I be of assistance? You literally can't. Apparently I'm not flying anywhere later on, so... The Groundbreaker, eh? I wonder if the relationships I've, uh, you know, nurtured along the way are gonna come into play here. I've got like one and a half. What am I dressed as? Good to go? Good to go. I'm gonna need a vending machine. I, th I, I wanna say I'm gonna need to hack stuff, so we'll keep you with me. And of course, Sam's not going anywhere. Not scared so far. No one shot me full of holes. I don't believe I have the access card. I do not. Damn it. I don't assume there's one nearby. Oh, hello. Sneaky, sneaky. Muting volume now. Good boy. Kaboo. We're good. Come out if I do. Oh, well, thank you. A little late, but right on. Tease. Right, I'm very much hoping this leads to a cartridge.
Hey there, little guy. A little more ladders. John McLean ended up in these vents. Yeah, let off your thrusters inside the vent, buddy. It's gonna alert no one. I'd like to thank whoever illuminated this area for me. Damn it. I thought it was a cartridge of a different nature. Stacks upon stacks of supplies. Damn it. That's it. We're going this way? Okay, we're going this way. I don't see any enemies, any enemies on the radar. Another ladder, no door. Yeah, just the ladder. Where does this come out? I see one thing. The captain did right by us once. Now it's our turn. The board Ooh. will never own Groundbreaker. Not while I breathe. Push on, Mardat. Nice! I'm probably not going to get that kind of support when I'm playing as Steven with a PH. Buddy, your your security is kind of getting hacked here. You gotta. Hey, the Mardets! Hooray, Mardets! No one has seen me yet. Uh oh. Nothing happened. No one is there. That is just the wrong way to go. Let's not go that way. Damn it. They know I'm here. Let's go loud. Oh, hello. There's not a lot of ammo here, but they do damage people that they're around, so. They, enemies will damage other enemies is what I mean to say. When we play as Evil Steven with a PH and or Keith, we will probably find the cartridge that I need. My left? I got nothing, dude. Check this row of lockers. The last time I needed one, it was in here. It wasn't a locker, I mean to say. Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Did not mean to talk to you, bud. Hi there! Just take an inventory or what? Your friends don't know it, but you're hurting your other friends. I uh, just shot Vicar in the back of the head. Hey, buddy. Thanks for coming to save my ass. Kind of. We could use some better lockpicking. I don't know what this gun does. I think it's a grenade launcher. This room looks important. Why is no one guarding it? Well, maybe there were, but I kind of, you know, let them out. One Akande. Called a Ram. 
How has something been scratched out? This is a digital pad, is it not? I do have a lockpicking outfit. Let's let's see if that helps. Yes, yes it does. This is a great deal of help. And I had a mag pick inside of it, so not that much of a deficit anymore. There we go. Made up difference already. No controls I can mess with. Okay. This looks like a nice weapon shed. Ah, damn it. Alright. I am wearing a helmet. What can I do to increase my sneaking with helmet stuff? Lockpick max. That did not help. Oh, I've reached the maximum amount of lockpicking skill that would unlock, huh? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Lockpick max. I do What's what? You bastard! All right, let's try increasing my uh, physical. Where is it? Here we go. That did not get as much as I needed. Okay, back to my old outfit. At least head-wise. Get more persuade this way. Perfect. I haven't traveled underground enough for today. Oh, not that underground. We're good. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just a reflection. Thought it was some form of prominence or solar flare going on. Call this place the labyrinth. Perhaps we should all meditate on that as we make our descent. Area sanitization assessment. The labyrinth on Tartarus. Task classification. Easy peasy. You see that, Max? That was called a vote of confidence. Meditate on what we're about to do. Yeah. You're not even a real priest! Or is he? Would you like Sam to tidy up this area? Waiting for confirmation. Co Scanning for... Thought I might have actually gotten a thing to say to him there. Command not recognized. How do I get up there? Through that door, I'm assuming. This again. Yep, still don't have it. Nothing has changed. Enemies! Right in the head. And then the rest of them just fucking miss. Poor bastards are just technicians. Take a lot of bullets to kill a technician. Beating the shit out of him with a pimp cane. Oh, Max is down. I have so many bullets. Oh, that's Sam. My bad. Kick his ass, Sam! There we go. Special attack, buddy! He's not dead! But you are. Alright now, you can come back now, buddy. No? Four more enemies? Shit. We're almost there. That guy is brave. 
Oh, seriously? Oh, you get to, re you get to reload too. All right, fair game. Jesus. We were having a battle, sir. Thank God. Y'all can come back now. Woo! Who had fun? Where the hell are you? There you are. If I heal, do you guys heal a little bit too? No, I don't have that perk? Alright. So far, so good. I've lost like almost 50% of the bullets I came in with. Another little weapon shed. I guess the challenge there was jumping across. All the things, just take all the things. Is that it? We're going across? Let's see. Oh shit! Oh, well, we're not dead. Hey! Incoming. Bring it down. Thanks for the warning there, Max. That's the last. God damn. That's explody. There are so many ways to get around here. Oh, I have my safe cracker jacket on, huh? That might have been why I was taking so much damage. Mark my words. When I get to an actual... Hello. When I get to an actual, uh... Whatchamacallit? Computer that I can hack. That's when friggin' Max with me is gonna pay off. Made that jump. I don't know how many opportunities you're gonna give me to, you know, use the UDL thing or the board thing. I, I don't, I don't have it. Can I buy one? Makes sense to you buy one here if you're gonna buy one anywhere. I have plenty of bits. Let's buy all of their ammo. All right, suitably less money, and I'm overweight. How am I overweight? Did I buy some armor accidentally or something, or a weapon? I think I might have bought this axe accidentally. Accidentally, ah, see what I did there. Oh, the pits. No mind if I do. That wasn't much of a labyrinth, if you know what I mean. Well, I can take this. Gotta put on my good old Han Solo outfit, and we're golden. All right, Max, your time to shine, buddy. Hey, we need those. Not methyl sulfoxide. Boring. Ooh. Pancake mix. I know they were having breakfast. What a boon. In error, in reason error, in duration undefined, out error. <laughs> Who? What the what? <laughs> Fuck you, snitch bot! The strong survive and the weak perish. Wow. Nice. Robot versus robot! Get him! <laughs> yes, keep going. I got some stuff to check out. Uh, 
Oh, hello. I might die. A little help, guys. How'd you get behind me? I think they're both dead. Oh yeah, I get a health boost every time I murder one of you fools. They are tougher than usual, aren't they? Well, that guy's just kind of cowering, so maybe not him. All your friends are dead! Don't you want to join them in the afterlife? Literally getting a pile of bodies going. Yeah, I'm overweight. Not surprised. All the helmets I'm fucking picking up. Picking up everything with Reckless Abandon. Spine gold, eh? Okay, let's get a wrist of armor. Golden. 270 on the dot. And yeah, we're overweight again. There we go. Gold. Everything else is a funny name, but pancakes mix pancake mix just stands the test of time. You can't get rid of that shit. Y'all here? Present? Good stuff. So I suspect he's being interrogated. Ooh, we got all of them. And they're all getting up. Preacher, I need your special attack soon. That was actually fairly expedited. But wait, there's more! One poor bastard! Yeah, you guys, you guys continue, I'll be over here. Nope, shit, didn't mean to pick that up. There we go. Everyone's fine. Except that guy. That guy's kind of on fire. Oh look, they're keeping him in tubes. Actually, that might be some sort of punishment thing. Alright, Sam, you close enough yet? I smite you in the name of the law. Smoten! Took a couple chunks out of Max there, my bad. Don't shoot me! It's not a this is not a fair about turnabout fair play thing. How about explosion? That did nothing. Forcing me to go around. To murder you. Oh, I've already been here. I've already murdered here. Here we go. Okay, what the fuck? I honestly don't know what to do. That's the place I gotta get to. You just chilling up there or what? You have zero shits? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Yeah, go down the ladder. See how that goes. A little more. Try again. Try again, bud. Don't be scared. Try that again. 
You little dick. Oh, we're just through these doors. Okay. Max is dead. Oh, jeez, hi. How are you? Okay. Brought a friend. Backward. Oh, damn, Max. You can't just appear like that, dude. Did they just follow us over here or what? Ooh, you went down now. Hooray! Damn it. I've had quite enough of you. Damn. Kind of bent physics to murder his ass. All right, it's this gun. Been pretty straightforward thus far. Well, yeah. Uh, what? Well, look who it is. Oh, I've seen you in a video. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. And the convict, uh, the vicar. You know. Most people, once they're out of prison, don't seem keen on returning. Most people don't put studios oh, in fucking prisons. To see you fall, sir. And, oh, uh, I had heard you were dragging around a repurposed janitorial mechanical. My staff jokes that it's because you're a walking pile of refuse. Interactive database updated. The unique organic substance labeled Chairman has been classified as filth. Imminent for incineration. Burn. When you go off and get yourself eventually, shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. What makes you think I'm not going to kill you? My word! You've correctly identified the most recognizable man in the colony. Remarkable. It's a wonder what Phineas saw in you. Then again, he's an insane person. Thankfully, he's our insane person now. A proper company man. Did you brainwash him? Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. We'll stop feeding your ego and we'll have lots of rations. That simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through. But it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? I believe we could ask you the same. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. You want to freeze more people! Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I'll try to be more open-minded about your path of wanton dissent. We don't need your help. Let's intimidate. You are a captain of action. I'll give you that. Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive... <sighs> I can't exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. 
If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. Oh, well, how about that? We might have to force Phineas and the board to work together, and no, neither of them are going to like that, but how about that? Pit exit. Incoming. Nope. Upcoming. We're, we're going up. Come on, a skill point. Good to go. Let's fight! Ooh, there's a lot of you. Sam! You're not my team. It hurts! It hurts! Wow, I'm vulnerable to electricity or what? Get him, preacher! Or find yourself shitting yours! I don't know how you got over there, but kudos. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> I think you got some brains on that staff there, dude. Don't worry, they're not yours. Sam? Thanks, buddy. Now finish them off. Just pissing acid on him. I love it. Alright, let's make you hurt your friends. That was a good hit. Robot versus robot. Just let it happen. This is something he has to do on his own, Max. Thank you. I'm stealing their snack break, too. Oh, we gotta get to the center. Okay, my bad. We could have done it twice by now. The pit exit doesn't involve a ton of falling, does it? Everything in my life has been leading up to this point. I am... Uh, I believe I am ready for this. What about you, Sam? Difficult job ahead? Consider equipping a pack of Sam's Special Solvent Stainout Remover. It's ruthless on residual blood splatter. I love the go get him attitude. Hello. Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. I practice. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. What about cracker crumbs in the bed? Th those are pretty, those are pretty uh, irritating. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're going to electrify the professor, aren't you? You have a flair for subtlety. If you'd worked for me, you would have been the greatest fixer Halcyon has ever seen. For all your talents, you are the enemy of Halcyon, and therefore you are my enemy. You know, as Steven with a PH, Bad Boy Steven, I killed her, so I'm wondering if I get to this point as Bad Boy Steven with a PH... Who's this going to be? Hmm. You make a nuanced and compelling argument. Here's my rebuttal. No. Okay, but hear me out. Dr. Wells is being held in my custody. His cooperation will prove invaluable, even if I have to beat it out of him. All that's left to do is put down this riot, arrest you, and then get on with the bloody business of saving this colony. Oh ho. Peace. Let's go with peace. Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one chance to parlay with me. Oh ho. If you were anyone else, 
I'd accuse you of posturing. I'm no fool, Captain. I realize I'm no match for you in a clean fight. But to surrender to you now would be a gross dereliction of my duty. I can't do that. Duty is dearer to me than my life. You need a I life. I don't expect you to understand the notion of honor. You've never devoted your life in service to a higher ideal. Besides saving almost a thousand All people? I've ever done. I've done for the good of Halcyon. Not again, a proper murder I've only thousand. ever wanted to protect my colony from chaos. From disorder. From people like you. There are no people like me. There's only me. Halcyon was... Is my responsibility. I was holding this colony together with both hands until you came along. And then he released one hand just to pick your nose. An unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your lot in with that madman, Phineas Wells. Hashtag team madman. No. No. I need more science. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. Boss battle. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically. Can he not hear Something. us? He's like 10 feet away. All right. Boss battle. Ram. Hmm. He's got a shield. All right. What do I want to bring into this fight? Let's repair everything. Yes, there we go. He's a robot, so he's probably weak to electricity. So. For the plasma launcher, we need Electro. Three, 393. Anything better than that? I don't think I can tinker on the go, can I? I cannot. There's no workshop in here. Shock cannon, good stuff. Damn. Not getting through there. On you. I won't. Damn, he's down. Shocked the shit out of him. Try harder. Oh, he's got backup. All right, we need Sam to get his shit back. I think that was our best chance. Ooh, broken down. Sam's down! Preacher! Get him! Ah, damn it. Alright, not bad for my first try. Okay, so we'll get Sam to jump on him twice this time. Might be able to- might be enough to take him down. Sometimes violence is the only way! <laughs> nice for you to notice. How about bullets? Oh, no bullets in there. That's a hammer. I just wasted some very precious time. Whoa! Hi! All my friends are dead. Run! It's supposed to hurt more robo robots more than it actually is.
More running. I'm glad you guys are a lot faster than the big guy. Alright, let's rethink the whole strategy. Not gonna get up close and personal, so... Do I have any bullets for that? I don't think I do. I do not. Oh, I thought there was more than one for a second. Alright, we're gonna wait for him to walk by that, and we'll explode it. That did nothing. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, no, never mind. Just him. I thought he did the dash attack. Kind of did. Slowed him down a little. Die, robot. I need a gun gun. Last was always kind of done good against uh, robots. Plus, I'm assuming I have a lot of it. Not terrible. Too close, too close, too close. Hello! Does Ram mean really angry machine? Can't quite stay close enough to him to use this. Okay, I think he broke down there. God damn it, how many of you are there? I think they're kind of auto-populating. Hello! I wish that could arc. Meaning, you know, jumping from one uh, enemy to the next. I think we're charging that wall. Really help me out. I think we're almost there. You can just hit your buddy, dumbass. There we go. Some boss battle that was. Why did you give a robot a key? Except you, Sam. You already have the key to my heart. I was thinking, this thing should have a fuck ton of energy cells. So I gotta remember next time, I need more science. I'm gonna play a Steven with a PH or uh... Keith. Crazy Keith. Well, Crazy Keith probably won't give a fuck about science. His murder record stands. What was making noise there? Your dust! 
You're dust in the wind. I need, to, I need some wind. Sam, get me some wind. Do you have like a cleaning fan or something? I'd probably, you know, knowing you would probably be more of a vacuum. What's up, Doc? Oh, you're behind glass again. That's why you couldn't talk. I can hardly believe my eyes. You didn't have to do this, you know. Risk your life just to save mine. Okay, bang! I'm all right. Akande wanted my cooperation, and she was prepared to beat it out of me. If you hadn't arrived, I might have given it. You've left the board in tatters, but Halcyon is still on the verge of starvation. I just hope we're not too late. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Remember when you shot me out of a spaceship and I landed on one of the people who was working with you? Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. First the food supply, and now this. That's it. I'm done. There is no plan, just random chaos. You're experiencing a crisis of faith, Preacher. Don't worry. That just means you're paying attention. What's Sam gonna say? Earth oh, isn't nothing. going to help us. No one's going to help us now. We're alone out here, and I don't know if we're going to survive. That's kind of what we do every time we wake up, though. I had hoped your fellow colonists might hold the key to saving Halcyon, but I don't have nearly enough chemicals to revive them all. I'll do what I can. I just hope it's not too late. It's time I return to my lab. I'll try to save as many of the Hope's colonists as I can. You're under no obligation to help me. You've done enough already. You know, I saw a manifest on here. It's, it's, uh... It, it, it said there's dimethyl foxide on this place. Oh. The chairman? I don't know why you let that heartless creature live, but I'll have to trust your judgment. We were going to save this colony, you know. That's what I told myself when I pulled you from the hope. You and I were going to set everything right. Now... I don't know what to think. Earth is gone, and we're going to need a miracle to survive another generation. I always suspected Halcyon might collapse one day. I just... I just thought we would have more time. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy, in the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Left unchecked, the war on Monarch consumed both MSI and the Iconoclasts. And when the Sulphur Cloud settled, only stragglers from both factions remained. 
Some found their way to Sublight, some to Terra too, and some lived their final years fighting for food in the wilderness. In the end, only the beasts remained. Sublight Salvage adapted to the changes in Halcyon, shifting their business model to suit the times. Their claims of legitimacy were scrutinized, but ultimately unquestioned. Lilia Hagen would continue to protect her family as ruthlessly as ever. The collapse of Edgewater left its workers bereft of any purpose in life. Most of them made their way to Adelaide McDevitt's camp, hoping to ingratiate themselves into her favor. Adelaide accepted only a few to her community. The rest were turned away and likely died of starvation. Nevertheless, Adelaide's camp grew into a well-established town. Adelaide McDevitt refused to cooperate with the ongoing effort to save Halcyon from collapse. A sympathetic deserter stole a copy of her research and delivered it to the hopes of scientists. It is unclear how useful Adelaide's research was. An optimistic estimate suggests her work may have bought Halcyon another few years of survival. Adelaide would never know. She died that winter. Under the leadership of Junlei Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave Junlei the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. Ellie savored her adventures on the unreliable. Once they were done, she returned to life as usual, running missions of dubious legality, shunning respectable work, and living life to the fullest. She meant to reach out to her one-time captain, but she was always bad at keeping in touch. Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Millstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. After all he'd seen and heard adventuring with you, the vicar Maximilian de Soto renounced his faith and joined the effort to rebuild the colony. Ironically, he finally found the joy that had eluded him over the course of his life and realized that perhaps he was always meant to be just a simple laborer after all. He quickly dismissed the idea. Though Parvati eventually grew comfortable aboard the Unreliable, she never quite came out of her shell. She seemed to prefer the company of Ada to the crew, and she could often be found neck deep in cables and grease, telling Ada funny stories from her childhood. While the colony fell into chaos, she found an island of relative peace with Ada, and they formed an unusual bond. She decided to remain aboard the Unreliable permanently as its chief and sole engineer. As hard as she tried to drink them away, Nyoka's memories eventually overcame her. Traveling with the crew served as a constant reminder of the family she'd lost, and so she eventually returned to Monarch to get back to what she found most comfortable, the deep end of a bottle and the far end of a trail. Few have seen her since, but travelers often swear they hear her and her machine gun in the night, screaming swears and spitting bullets. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. 
Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. Chairman Rockwell served as the public face for the changes in Halcyon to come. Whenever you needed strings pulled or a voice to sell a policy change, Rockwell was only too happy to oblige. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He was never able to come to terms with his own past, troubled by the decision of placing all his faith in the first colonist he ever revived, the infamous Captain of the Unreliable. The revival project yielded mixed results. Phineas, weighed down by limited support and his own guilt, struggled to revive more than a handful of scientists and engineers. They made a heroic effort to solve the colony's problems, but with small numbers and facing long odds, their solutions never caught on. Only a few of the Hope's colonists were successfully revived. Wells died before he could see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a haunted man crushed by the guilt of his failures. Small, petty factions squabble over what remains of the colony. Every attempt to reach out to Halcyon's neighbors is met with silence. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? You brought an end to the chaos on Tartarus and made Chairman Rockwell your own puppet, a role he was all too eager to play. The colony never realized you were the true power behind the new administration. By acting vicariously through agents and third parties, you controlled Halcyon from the shadows. As a result, Halcyon survived the turbulent years that were to follow. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Well, hot damn. That was by all means not a happy ending. Probably not the perfect ending. I definitely didn't do enough side quests to get that. Especially my, 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 my cruise quests. But I'm glad Sam spread the word. We should get some DLC. Like the, the further adventures of Sam. Thanks for watching. That was the ending as told by Steven with a V. Now we're going to go be a bad guy. See you next time.